So welcome back guys to a brand new episode of five new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website. This is going to be episode three for Fallout 4. Hopefully you guys are having a great day, but let's just jump straight into the video. Realistic headshots. This comes in a variety of a different packs, guys. Please do bear that in mind. This actually comes in for a base game or it comes with the DLC. I'm going to link every single version down in the description below. Go and check out which one is yours. But this is a absolutely savage mod to grab it makes the headshot damage to creatures such as death claws morella queens behemoths and robots it does 20 percent or 20 times the amount of damage to do with the headshots i'd recommend anyone grabbing this just if you want a little bit of fun or if you want a super immersive feel to possibly a survival gameplay then this is going to be it it's a little bit frustrating when you pour so many bullets into an enemy's head and it just doesn't go pop a it's not satisfying and b it incredibly ruins the immersion so this this is why I've added it into this video. Now, talking about realistic, our next one is going to be a great mod that I highly suggest everyone grabbing. It's a super download size. It is going to be realistic gore and dismemberment. Enemies have a chance of their limbs being blown up or blown off. And it does say on the page as well, please do place this at the bottom of your load order, as it does change a few values regarding the dismembered model to this mod. Has been upgraded as well now with more gore and points of dismemberment. Shoot a death claw while it's down to dismember his head clean off with a ton of different gore. Triple nasty bugs by shooting their wings off and much more. Since have a different thing as well going on, the different body parts to do with their health values have been tweaked. The headshots are more deadly in conjunction with the mod that we just talked about would be insane. But I really wanted to add this mod to this video just for the fact of I feel like it, there should be more things like this. They should have been in the base game. Uh, I don't feel like that there is enough gore and guts coming out of certain things as well so for instance when i want to shoot someone's head and i take it clean off i want to see it clean off i want to see all the gore i want to see everything i want it to be as realistic and immersive gameplay as i possibly could and this does heavily achieve that goal the good old rusty camper this is a new player home located outside of the wrvr radio station this little wasteland home will have all the required needs for adventure such as yourself traveling through the boston wasteland this is the author's first attempt to make a player's home and let me tell you for a first attempt and a small player's home it's actually incredibly well detailed there's a ton of different things within here there's a few little gems in there even if it's not your cup of tea just worth trying to download it maybe a place to rest once or twice and obviously to raid all the loot but for me i actually quite enjoyed this the rusty camper is pretty damn sweet we covered a mod ages ago which i believe was the tram or the bus mod which was kind of like this it was configured from an old vanilla bus that has broken down on the road due to the rad storm into a player's home but the only thing missing from this is obviously a workbench and a chem station which is a little bit upsetting for me just because I feel like if I'm traveling through and I want to do certain things with my loadout or my setup then that is pretty much not achievable because it doesn't have those things who knows this person could actually implement those into this mod with a few cheeky little updates and that would be an absolute astonishing update and it would be a viable and decent player home worth checking out yourself guys let me know what you think within the comment section below what can the author add let's have a little discussion about this player home submerge Merciful Power Armor Redux, the Bioshock inspired set of power armor. This is absolutely awesome taken and ripped straight out from rapture the ruin of the mystical underwater city in search of all the unique suits of power arm inspired by the bioshock aka the rosie's big daddy this armor is set to be from the original bioshock is actually inspired from that introducing a new set of power armor into the game also the suit of the big sister and the iconical needle weapon has been added as well there's also a new settlement objects to take a little rapture home and the easiest way to find this is go north east of the map there should be a rickety old boat take it to the mystery new lighthouse where you'll find a bathosphere to take you into the depths of rapture a really cool mod this has a ton of different variations of the colors as well three different variations to the rosy look three new settlement objects a brand new loading screen for the big daddy a full big sister outfit and a small rapture location if you want both games putting together and you are a massive fan of 
of Bioshock. I'm not a great fan of Bioshock, but this armor, or shall I say this mod, was really, really cool. Definitely worth grabbing this one and trying it out, even if you are not a fan, as I said prior. And for a final spot is going to be Boonie Hats into Fallout 4. This has been added into the leveling list, I'm not too sure why, and it will be spawned on Gunners, BOS Field, any raiders and vendors will sell it to you in Sanctuary and other places too. And these Boonie Hats come in a variety of different colours such as Black, Navy, Orange, Woodland, BOS, Military Cam, Tactical Colours, DPM, UCP, DBDU, Red Urban and Tiger Strike, a ton of different variations of these and they can all be up upgraded with a ballistic weave. Pretty cool little mod to add to the game if you want those particular things. And if you're running a ton of different mods as well, you can pretty much make a or recreate a Call of Duty iconic character. I'm not going to say who it is, but he has a massive cigar in his mouth and he likes running around shouting orders. But that's it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, hit me up with a like and a comment. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Fallout 4 and the Skyrim new console mods to hit the first on their website. If you are, let me know with a comment and subscribe if you haven't already but until the next one guys get a caveat and get a give out